Hey everyone, Dominic here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about a very useful technique for improving your English pronunciation. Now pronunciation is probably the most difficult part of learning, not just English, but of any language. And this is because you have to train your mouth muscles to form new shapes and sounds. And so what usually ends up happening is that Many people, they focus on grammar and vocabulary. They can understand movies and TV shows. And they can even do very well on their English tests. However, the biggest problem is, even with all of these, they cannot communicate with native speakers. And I've seen this happen here in South Korea, where I teach, where many of my students, they do very well on their tests. They can understand, you know, TV shows and their vocabulary and grammar is excellent. But I could not hold a conversation with them. And that is because not as much emphasis is put on pronunciation as it is these other subjects in English, like grammar and vocabulary. And so the key to becoming better at pronunciation is practice and consistency. And so what a lot of people do is they practice for a few days and then they stop for a few days Then they start again and then they stop and so on. And so with this way, you cannot make any progress at all. You will stay down here, right? You will never go up. What you need to do is practice on a daily basis and be consist consistent with your pronunciation. And even if you miss a day here and there, as long as you get back on track, your progress will steadily go up. And so you need a lot of patience. It might be frustrating at first, but if you keep practicing, you will get better. And so one of the main things you also have to understand is that around the world, there are many ways to speak English. There is no right way. And when I say right way, I mean there is no right accent or right way to pronounce a word or a sentence. And so there are many countries where they have different sounds in English. They have different dialects and different slang words. However, the most important thing is that all of these people in these countries, they can understand each other. And so that's what I mean when there is no right way to speak English. And so whatever accent or way of speaking English you're trying to learn, as long as people can understand you, then that's all that matters. Okay. And so the, the most important thing is that you have to pronounce words and sentences like native speakers expect you to. Because every language has a certain rhythm, a certain way of speaking that everyone speaks with and can understand. And so even if you speak a little differently, people are going to have trouble understanding you. And so how can we get better at pronunciation? So the technique I'm going to introduce to you today is called shadowing. And if you're not familiar with shadowing, it's basically an activity where you listen to words and sentences and then you repeat them back out of your mouth almost at the same time that you're hearing it. And so you want to do this with very little delay and as quickly as possible. And this technique was popularized by a man named Alexander. Oops. Alexander Arguelles. I may be butchering the name here, but 
Um, he first popularized this technique in Germany. And then later on where I am now in South Korea. Okay, and so he's very famous for working on the South Korean language. And so what he believed was it helps, shadowing helps learners focus on the correct sounds of their target language. Okay, and it can help you develop better pronunciation close to that of native speakers. And you can pick up the rhythm of English and different accents. And it trains your mouth muscles to get used to the new sounds. Okay, so as we talked about earlier, this is all very key in improving your pronunciation. And so what shadowing does is that it basically forms new connections in your brain. And these connections are important because anytime you learn something new, whether it be language or new skill, your brain is always going to form these connections. And the more you practice, so the more you practice, the stronger these connections get. And so this technique is a good alternative that can assist you with improving your pronunciation. Okay, so there are many different types of techniques, techniques that I may get into in later videos, but for, day, for today, we're just going to be focusing on shadowing. Okay, so how do we practice? How can we practice shadowing? So the first thing you should understand before you start is that it's more of an intermediate to advanced technique. However, even if you are a beginner, you can give it a try. It can still have some benefit even if you are a beginner, but if you have some knowledge of English, you know, even just a little bit, uh, it will make this technique uh, easier to practice. And so step one, the first thing you wanna do is choose the English accent you want to mimic. Okay. And then you want to find your audio source. Now there are many ways to find audio sources. You just have to find the one that is more or most comfortable for you. So you can use podcasts. You can use TV shows and movies. You can listen to interviews in English, and you can even listen to music. And the key for all of these is no matter which one you choose, they should have a transcript or a caption. So as long as there is a text that you can follow while you're listening, it's going to help you. Okay, next, step two, you want to simply listen to the audio without trying to shadow. Okay, and you want to simply focus on the sounds that you hear. And so what a lot of people will do when they start this technique is they will immediately try to start repeating after what they hear. But the first key is to just listen and get familiar with what it is that you're listening to. Okay. And once you go on to step three, you can start your shadowing session. And so once you start, you want to repeat right after the speaker. So right after they say a word or a sentence, you want to say it back as quickly as possible. OK, and like I said earlier, almost at the same time. And you want to sit upright. Okay, so you don't want to be slouched over. Your posture should be good. And you don't want to have any pausing within your shadowing session. And so you want to just have it flow as naturally as possible. And a lot of people get frustrated because you will make mistakes. But making mistakes is part of the learning process. And as you make mistakes, you will get better. And um, Andrew Arguelles, the, the man I told you about earlier, he also believed that walking could help you with this technique. 
Now, some people don't feel comfortable walking and shadowing, but he stood by this tip to help him get better at shadowing. So if you think you might want to try walking, then, you know, give it a try while you do this as well. Okay. Also, another tip is if you can adjust the audio to be slower, it's okay as long as you can follow along. Now, you don't want it to be too slow. And you don't want it to be too fast. So you need to find uh, the rhythm that works for you. Okay, and then we move on to our final step, which is repeating the shadowing technique on a daily basis. Just like we talked about earlier, the key is practice and consistency. And so you want to try to practice every day. Now, of course, life happens and sometimes, you know, you're not able to do it. But as long as you have a flow of consistency and you can see your progress getting better, then it's okay. And also you want to keep your sessions very short. Short to about 15 to 30 minutes. You can even do it shorter as well. You don't have to start off at, you know, 15 minutes or even 30 minutes. You can start off with five minutes and then... If you feel comfortable, you can work your way up to 10 minutes and so on. Okay, it's a very tiring technique for your mouth muscles. So you want to give them a rest. And as long as you take breaks here and there, uh, it should be fine. And so the idea of following this technique is to learn English in a natural way. So you want to think about how when you were young and you started speaking your own native language. The way kids and babies learn language is they mimic the adults around them. And this is how they pick up language naturally. However, it's very difficult to do as an adult, so you have to put in more effort. However, the effort will pay off in the long run. And that's it for today's video. So if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.